Hello friends, this video straight line part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight line part 1 to part 13. Let's take some example. We have been told that we have the equation of line 3x plus 3x minus 4y plus 10 to 0. You to find its slope and x and y intercept. Very simple. If you can just convert this equation in the slope form, the first case I am taking, you will get the slope. So what we will do? To get to convert the equation in the slope form, we have y is equal to mx plus c form. So this equation we can write as 4y is equal to 3x plus 10. Correct. Now since the equation is of the form y is equal to mx plus c, we have to make y independent of any value. So we'll divide by 4. Everything will divide by 4. So this equation will get y is equal to 3 by 4 x plus 10 by 4. Now we'll compare this with this equation. Here if you see with x you have m, with x you have 3 by 4. So this is nothing but our m. And c is 10 by 4 because c is constant here and c is 10 by 4. But they have not asked us for c so we can ignore this. Our answer is m is equal to 3 by 4. We'll take the second one. Second one, it is asking us to write in the form of slope intercept form. Slope intercept form we know is of this form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. So if you can write this equation in this form x by a plus y is equal to 1, we are done with our problem. So what let's do this 3x minus 4y plus 10 is equal to 0. Let's first write 10 in the right hand side. So what you get? what you get is this guy is 10 and this is equal to we get minus 3x plus 4y correct you write 10 here so this, this is 10 this becomes minus 3x plus 4y so actually if you put these values here you will get 10 is equal to minus 3x plus 4y I have written this same equation as this form minus 3x plus 4y is equal to 10. We'll divide everything by 10 because we wanted to put make RHS is equal to 1. So what we get is minus 3x by 10 plus 4y by 10 is equal to 1. This is what we get. The same equation we can write in this form. We'll put 3 here. So we'll get x by minus 10 by 3 plus y by similarly we will make 4 here 10 by 4 is equal to 1. Why we have done this because we wanted to write this equation in this form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. So first we have put 10 on the right hand side divided by 10 so we got 10 here once we got 10 on the right hand side the left hand side we want to free the x with the constant so we have divided this we have put this 3 here we have put this 4 here. So what we got is this. Now if we compare this equation with this form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1, we can see that a is equal to nothing but minus 10 by 3 and b is nothing but 10 by 4. So we have got the answer that is x intercept and y intercept are minus 10 by 3 and 10 by 4 respectively. Very simple what we have done. In first case when we wanted to find the slope, we have converted this equation in the slope form and we got the slope. In the second case, when we are asked to find x and y intercept, we have just converted this equation with the line, the general line equation in the slope intercept form and we got the, sorry, in the intercept form and we got both the intercept. Here we are asked to reduce the equation this into normal form and the find the values of p and w. Obviously, when you want to find reduce this equation into normal form, we have to find the values p and w. So we know that the normal form equation is of this form that is x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to t. Also we know that if we have equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 and we have equation x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p, if both the equations are same then we say that 
what we say that cos omega is equal to plus minus root a by a by root a square plus b square this we have learned sin omega is nothing but plus minus b by root of a square plus b square and p is nothing but plus minus c by root of a square plus b square this is what we have done now if we compare this equation with this 3 is here y is here c is here we compare ax plus by plus c with a light here ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 with this equation what we get is a a is equal to root 3 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus these are the values we have got a is equal to root 3 b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus a now things are pretty simple we have to find the value of cos omega so we'll say cos omega is nothing but plus minus a by root a square plus b square so this becomes plus minus root 3 by root 3 square is 3 plus 1 square is 1 so this becomes plus minus root 3 by root 4 this becomes plus minus root 3 by 2 now cos omega is equal to plus minus root 3 by 2 therefore omega is equal to 30 degree since you are taking this degree now 30 degree or in case of cos omega is equal to minus root 3 by 2 omega is equal to 180 degree minus 30 degree is equal to 150 degree so omega is equal to either 30 degree or 150 degree similarly similarly sin omega we can find sin omega is equal to plus minus b by root b square plus c square sin omega is equal to plus minus b by root a square plus b square so this becomes plus minus 1 by root of 3 plus 1 so this becomes plus minus 1 by so here also if you see omega turns out to be 30 degree or 150 degree this is 1 not 150 this is 1 80 plus 30 that is 210 this is 210 sorry. because 150 is positive so this is 210 so omega is 30 or 150 here and omega is 30 or 210 here now p is nothing but plus minus c by root of a square plus b square this becomes plus minus of minus 8 by root of 3 plus 1 that becomes plus minus 8 by 2 that is plus minus 4 so we have the value of c is plus minus 4 and omega will take common value common value is 30 so omega is equal to 30 degree and p is equal to plus minus 4 this is the omega is equal to 30 and p is equal to plus minus 4 this is the value of omega and p so we can write create the equation equation is very simple equation is x x cos omega that is x cos 30 degree plus y sin 30 degree is equal to plus minus 4 so we have two equation in first case this plus 4 in second case we have minus 4 and we'll put the values of cos 30 and sin 30 to get the answer let's take this example we have two lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 we have to prove that if the lines are parallel if a1 by a b1 is equal to a2 by b2 and they are perpendicular if a1 a2 plus b1 b2 is equal to 0 so let's first find the normal the slope of these equations because without slopes we can't do anything we know that if two lines are parallel slopes are equal and if two uh, per product of two slopes is equal to minus one that means they are perpendicular so that means we have to find the slopes to find slopes let's convert into normal form 
normal form is nothing but y is equal to mx plus c form. So let's convert equation one. I'm taking the first. First, let's convert both the equation into normal form, and then we'll solve the question. First equation is a one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero. Or I can say b one y is equal to minus a one x minus c. Or you can say y is equal to minus a one by b one x minus c one by b one. This is the equation one. So here I got m one is nothing but minus a one by b one. This is the first equation. How I got? I converted this into the normal form, and I compared this equation with this equation. I see that this is m. Whatever you just put, uh, multiply with x is m. Here you multiply minus a one by b one with x, so m is minus a one by b one. Similarly, for equation two, we have a two x plus b two y plus c two is equal to zero. This equation I can write in this form: y is equal to minus a two by b two x plus c two by b two is equal to is equal to, is equal to this. So from this we get. M two is equal to minus a two by b two. This is my equation number two. This is one, and this is two. So we have two equations. That is, m one is equal to a one by b one. M two is equal to a two by b two. I took a shortcut because this is almost same. Both the steps are almost same. Now we have both m one and two. Now let's take the case one. The case one is both the lines are parallel. In case both the lines are parallel. We say m one is equal to m two, correct? Now, if you see m one is equal to m two, we can say or m one is nothing but minus a one by b one, and m two is nothing but minus a two by b one. Minus minus we can cancel, or we can say that a one by b one is equal to a two by b two, and that is what we are supposed to prove. That is our answer. So if you see, we have to prove that if they are parallel. A one by B one is equal to A two by B one. Now let's take the case two, where both are perpendicular. This was parallel. In case of perpendicular, M one into M two plus one is equal to zero. We know this. So we'll say M one is nothing but minus A one by B one into minus A two by B two plus one is equal to zero. Correct. We have this. Minus into minus plus. So what we get is a one a two plus by b one b two. Sorry, this is b one b two plus one is equal to zero. Or the same equation we can write as a one a two plus b one b two by b one b two is equal to zero. Or the same equation we can write as a one a two. Plus b one b two is equal to zero, and that is what we are supposed to prove. A one a two plus b one b two is equal to zero. Very simple. The approach we have followed that we were asked to prove that these lines are parallel and perpendicular. If these lines are parallel and perpendicular, this equation should also be. We were asked to prove that if these lines are parallel or perpendicular, particular equation should satisfy. Thus, we knew that somewhere we have to find a slope because we know that if the lines are parallel, we use m one is equal to m two. If the lines are perpendicular, we say m one into m two plus one is equal to zero. So for both the equation, the general equation of the line, we had a one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero, and a two x plus c two b two y plus c two is equal to zero. We found the slopes. We found m one is equal to minus a one by b one, and m two is equal to minus a two by, and thus. We have used this equation m one is equal to m two to get a one by b one is equal to a two by b two and m one into m two plus one is equal to zero. We got a one a two plus b one b two is equal to. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.